friends! Welcome back to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. In today's vlog, my plan is to take you with me during the weekend. It is currently 8.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. I already have a load of laundry in the laundry. I've already done my grocery pickup, so I'll show you what I got in just a second here. Let me take this off. <laughs> and I'm so excited because this morning I'm going to get a haircut and it's been a long time since I've had a haircut and I'm going to go with a completely different look. So I'm excited to share that with you guys later today. Um, but what I want to do right now is get all these groceries unloaded, put away, and I want to start a crock pot meal before I head off for my hair appointment. So let me show you what I got from the grocery store. Breadsticks for Logan. Frozen pizza for Logan. Ice cream sandwiches for Logan. So far it's all for Logan. <laughs> Dog food for Mork. I picked up another bottle of my favorite coffee, which I'm gonna make one of these in just a second here. Um, I've got one, I got a red bell pepper for a breakfast casserole that I wanna make sometime this weekend to have as my breakfast for the week. I'm gonna like portion it out like as a meal prep kind of thing. Cheese for, half of it's gonna be for the crock pot meal this morning, and then the other half will be for the breakfast um, casserole that I'm gonna make. Maple sausage for the breakfast casserole. Ground beef for the crock pot meal. Potatoes, some of these will be for the crock pot meal and then the rest will just be for when I need them. <laughs> I also like to have potatoes with eggs, so um, that's another option for the week. Grapefruit LaCroix for Logan. It's actually called Pamplemousse, but it's grapefruit. I think it's French. You tell me if I'm wrong, but I think Pamplemousse is French for grapefruit. And cream of celery soup for today's crock pot meal. I also grabbed some more candy for my classroom. I'm out of candy. So I have a unique teaching position this year where I'm working with students who've been suspended from school and teenagers. I work with high school students. And one thing I found, one trick I found to gain their trust and to help them relax is to give them a piece of candy. It's kind of funny, but it really works. Like it's like magic. So I like to have it available as something I, as a tool I can pull out when a student is like having a really hard time is something to offer them. So that's why I keep getting candy for my classroom. Okay, let's get this crock pot meal started. So this meal, it's interesting, you actually cook the ground beef before you put it in the crock pot. So that's what I'm doing here. I am browning the ground beef. Next, I grate half of that package of sharp cheddar cheese. I absolutely love this tool. This was a gift from one of my viewers and it's one of the most useful tools in my kitchen. I actually found it on Amazon and I linked it in my Amazon storefront, which is in the description box of this video. If you're looking for um, a cheese grater, I, I highly recommend this one. It's awesome. Next, I'm peeling my potatoes. You don't have to peel your potatoes for this recipe. You could just leave the skins on. And I happen to be a fan of potato skins, but since I'm preparing this to eat throughout the week as leftovers, um, I wanted to have the skins peeled off. And personally, my in my experience, that not having the skins on the potatoes when you're doing like a meal prep or eating eating potatoes throughout the week just is better. They taste better. I don't know what it is about the skins, but they don't hold up as well as leftovers, in my opinion, as leftovers as just the plain potato. Next, I am slicing the potatoes into these meta medallion like <laughs> style cut where they come, become these little round pieces. One trick I learned about cutting potatoes is um, once you cut the potato and you leave, a, leave it stuck to the knife, the way it's stuck to the knife, and then do the next cut, you'll get the same size cut. See, uh, if, if, if that's something you're worried about, keeping things consistent and keeping things the same size. Okay, time to prepare the sauce. So I'm using two cans of cream of celery soup. You could use cream of mushroom soup. I think it would be absolutely delicious in this meal. I unfortunately am allergic to mushrooms, so I can't eat mushrooms, but yeah, I think that would be so good. So it's two cans of cream soup and one cup of milk. So one of the things I try to avoid is dairy and there is dairy in this recipe. So I was thinking later about like how I could make it dairy free. Um, I know that there's dairy free cheese as an option. I know there's dairy free milk, but I don't know about the condensed soup. Does anybody know if there's a dairy free condensed soup, like cream of soup uh, option for those of us who are dairy free? 
let me know down in the comment section below. So the spices I'm gonna add here are garlic powder and onion powder, and I'm not measuring this, I'm just sprinkling it on. I'm also adding some pepper. I'm not adding any salt to this because there's already enough salt in the condensed soup, and I did add a little bit of salt to the ground beef when I was cooking it, sauteing it on the stove top, so I felt like it just didn't need any more, any more salt, and I agree, after tasting it, it did not need any more salt. It was the perfect amount. Okay, it's time to put it all together, and I don't just dump it in, I actually do layers. So I do a layer of potato, uh, half the potato, half of the ground beef, half of the cheese, and then half of the sauce. Uh, and then I'm going to repeat it. So I do another layer of potato, another layer of ground beef. Then I do, this time on the final layer, I do sauce first and then cheese at the very end. So there's a cheesy topping to this. This was a big hit with my family and with myself. I really liked it. The only thing is I'd like to figure out a way to make it dairy free. About the new hair I'm back from the salon so a couple of weeks ago one of my students guessed that I was 60 years old not that there's anything wrong with being 60 years old but at 47 I don't want to look like I'm 60 <laughs> so I've been studying the girls at the high school you know how they're wearing their hair these days I could because I thought okay so my hairstyle is probably outdated it's probably one of the reasons why also the gray hair which is kind of hard to see here. Let's step outside in the sunlight in a second and take a look and see how gray the gray hair is. But I've been studying the girls and what I told my hairdresser is all the girls, or majority of the girls, have a center part. So I went with a center part and they have their hair um, like all one length. Instead of layers, they do like all one length. So that's what we tried to do with my hair. I had lots of layers before, so she tried to make it uh, as much all one length as possible and this is what it looks like I'm very happy with it I think it looks good let's go take a look at the color outside okay I can't I can't see very well I can't see it all so I'll have to watch this footage back later but let's take a look I know the most silver gray is like here in this area let's go back inside because it's pretty windy out here Okay, so I took you outside because my hairdresser told me that, my hairdresser, her name is Sue. <laughs> she told me that 
Um, if you want to know your true hair color, go out and look at it in the sunshine because in, in her salon, it was just, it looked so gray and silver under that lighting. But here I feel like it doesn't look that like that gray or that much. Still looks pretty brown. So she told me to go take a look in the sunshine. So that's what that was about. Now Sue has been cutting my hair since I was 11 years old. So I'm, I feel very comfortable with her, like telling her, explaining to her the reason why I'm not coloring it right now is because I'm trying to pay off debt. You know, she knows all the, she knows all the stuff. <laughs> so, so, um, and I still want to try to not color my hair and instead put that money towards debt because it just is, it's quite pricey. And with my hair, I was going every eight weeks to get it colored because the roots would come in, but really, I should have gone every six weeks uh, because they came in so fast. Anyways, here's my thought. I talked to her about this and I said, okay, if I did it at home, which I know is like a dirty thing to say, <laughs> it's like a dirty word, doing it at home. Um, uh, you know, you're supposed to go to a professional to have your hair colored. What would you suggest? And she suggested I do Clarion or Clariol, something like that. I'll look at the store later um, and do like a light brown. So. I am gonna color my hair myself later. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed it turns out okay. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna work on right now, now that I'm home, oh, by the way, I had that crock pot meal. It was delicious. So it only has one ingredient in it that I'm supposed to be avoiding, dairy. <laughs> but it, it, it didn't have, it was gluten-free, sugar-free, tomato-free, onion-free, which are all things on my no-no list. So um, it was absolutely delicious. And I'm just gonna kind of see how I do with it. Um, I'm, on a, I'm on an acid reflux reduction diet, so as long as it doesn't hurt me, I will definitely make this recipe again. Super affordable and easy and delicious. Okay, so there's two big things I want to accomplish in the office today. I want to, um, I want to edit and upload my video from last month, my vlog from last, First, I want to edit and upload my video, my video vlog from last week. And then second, I want to work on new designs. I think my, my goal is to have my stickers out by next Saturday, which is the 12th. But if I have them out early, I'm okay with that too. So those are the two big things I'm gonna be working on the rest of the day. Okay, friends, time to design some more December patterns. This one is so much fun. I'm opening, I first started by opening all of the patterns and made them really large so I could see them because you know I wear bifocals and my vision's not great. So I open them up and make them big so I can see the pattern really well and see what I wanna use. I'm also putting some patterns together. Um, they are seamless patterns so I can put them together to make longer, longer uh, stickers or patterns for my stickers. So that's what I was doing at first. But this is another red and green kit. Um, like I said before, I try not to, I'm trying not to have all of my December kits be red and green. And you'll see the third one is not red and green. It's a purple kit. So you'll see that pretty soon here. But uh, this one's red and green. And it's also like gingerbread cookie themed, which I thought was super fun. And I love the way I could put these joy patterns together. They fit together perfectly to make a long washi. I thought that was really fun. I love the gingerbread and I just I thought this was a really super fun kit. Look at those cookies. Don't those look delicious? <laughs> it's like, it looks like so much fun. So um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this pattern. So I'm going to just play some nice music for you as you watch me design. This would be December 224. That's the name of this pattern. Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's the 
tossing off his hat Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. There's something that see that <laughs> a little accident today um, I was leaning down to kiss Mark on the head and he like came up like he lifted his head up at the same time and he ended up head butting me <laughs> right in the mouth so I have a little like injury from that but okay we are going to color my hair right now I just finished uh, doing a movie night with Logan we watched a really good film called mid 90s it's an A24 film. If you're familiar with that production company, they always make like super weird videos, I mean movies. So it was weird, but it was also really good. It hit him really hard. Here, I'm gonna put you up here because, oh, this camera's heavy. The movie hit Logan really hard because it's this coming of age story of this 13 year old. It's a little, you know, it's very different from Logan's life because we live in Iowa and this boy lives in Los Angeles in the mid 90s, but, um, still has some very timeless lessons in it and yeah it was just really good logan and i were both afterwards we were both like whoa you know <laughs> okay so i am going to color my hair and guys if this works this is totally the way for me to do my hair color in the future because this box was seven dollars versus when i normally get my hair done which is a lot more than seven dollars <laughs> So um, I went with Clariol, Clariol, because that's what Sue recommended, and she told me to get light brown, so this is six light brown. So let's give it a shot. Remember when we said we'd stay together now until forever, just us, just us. Said we wouldn't be like all the others Fight and hurt each other Not us, not us But we let each other down, 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 down Yeah, we let each other down, 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 down This shouldn't be
just us Said we wouldn't let things come between us Let love rule, not beat us Not us, not us But we let each other down, 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 down Yeah, we let each other down So after letting my hair set for the specific amount of time, I just folded my laundry and put it away during that time. I was also watching TV, so if it seemed like I was looking at the camera, that was why. Also, Logan stopped by to talk to me for a minute. <laughs> I was drying my hair. But I washed the, washed the color out, and then there was a special conditioner that came in the box that I did. And now I am drying it straight because my hair is naturally curly, so I need to to dry it straight and I need to iron it to get it to be straight. But since I was about to go to bed, I just used the hair dryer on it at this point. And then this is what it looked like the next morning. Look at that frizzy craziness. <laughs> so I'm using, putting a heat protectant spray on it and then I'm going to iron it with a flat iron. Unfortunately, my camera died, so you don't get to see the actual flat ironing part, but you'll get to see the end result in just a moment. Hi guys, happy Sunday. So, this, I want to show you my hair. I don't see any more gray, you guys. I think I did it. I think I covered the gray with $7. I'm so excited. Let's step outside though to check in the sunlight. That's the true test. Okay, I can't see the camera. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Final verdict. Hi, Marky Mark. Hi, am I in your face? <laughs> did I cover the gray? I think I did. Okay, let's, oh, oh, his nail just got caught on my sweater. Oh. Okay, we're back inside. Mark's okay. He's laying down. He's a little, he's a little sad, but he's okay. I think, I think his like paw got caught in my sweater because I felt like a pool on the sweater right before he yelped like that. Anyways, um, it is a gorgeous day today. It's uh, just, it's almost 11, it's 10.42 a.m. I've had a great morning this morning. I finished the hair, as you can see. I ironed it straight and um, I did some nail color and I've been working on designing stickers. So I um, would have shown you all that, I believe. <laughs> oh, except for the hair. I went to show you me straightening my hair. I meant to record it and my camera was dead, so I couldn't record that. Um, it is six, I don't know if I told you this yet or not, but it's 60 degrees outside. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like just cool enough that like this sweater is, is perfect. It's like cozy and warm. Like I am ready for cool weather and sweaters and sweatshirts and all the cozy stuff. <laughs> So what I want to do right now, I'm going to take a break from designing stickers and let's go make my breakfast casserole. This is my meal prep for my breakfast for the week, but I also want to have a piece for lunch today. So let's go ahead and go make that right now. This was another very successful recipe. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have enough to last like the whole week for leftovers because it was pretty popular with my family, um, but I don't mind. I always am very happy when I make something that my family actually <laughs> likes. My, I feel like my family is so picky. So I'm starting by prepping the ingredients. First thing I'm doing is cutting up my red bell pepper into small pieces. Next, I am shredding that second half um, block of sharp cheddar cheese from yesterday's recipe. I'm shredding the second half of that today for today's recipe. When I put it together, I'll put some of it in the middle and then some on top. 
Next, I'm mixing all the ingredients together in a large bowl before I add them to my casserole dish. I'm starting with these hash browns. These are frozen hash browns. I actually thawed them out overnight in the refrigerator. So I just took them out of the freezer and stuck them in the refrigerator and let them thaw overnight. And then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. I didn't show me cooking this, but this is the maple sausage and it was very oily so i did drain it really well with paper towels um, before adding it to the recipe here i'm going to put half of the cheese in the casserole itself here and then i'll put the other half on top of the casserole at the end to make it really pretty and i'm doing the same thing with the red peppers well i'm putting most of the red peppers in the in the recipe but then i'm going to leave some to sprinkle on top because it looks so pretty when they're sprinkled on top at the end so i put all the ingredients together and i'm going to stir it together and then put it in the dish. So I'm spraying my pan really well with some cooking spray before I put the casserole ingredients in this pan. I just don't want it to stick to the sides and this worked really well. So I'm going to pour all of the ingredients into the pan and then I'm going to top it with the extra cheese and red peppers. Then I'm going to put it in the oven for 350 degrees for, um, I think personally I ended up having to cook mine for about 45 maybe 55 minutes because the eggs just weren't set after like 35 minutes so I pulled it out at 35 minutes and checked it and they weren't set so I put it back in for like another 20 minutes um, so just do whatever works for your oven <laughs> I find that every oven's a little bit different but instead of using scrambled eggs I had egg whites in my refrigerator so I used uh, egg whites and I didn't measure anything out I just poured them over the top and used as many as it seemed like was necessary to fill the pan after I felt like I had enough of the egg whites in there I went ahead and sprinkled the remaining cheese on top I also added the red um, the rest of the red uh, bell pepper and then I added some chives just uh, freeze-dried chives, chives from my refrigerator I love the combination of chives and eggs so I also thought it'd be like it also like just be pretty to look at but it also added a layer of flavor that I really liked so I did add that at the end here and here's what it looked like when it came out of the oven and as I said this was a huge success not only for myself but my family loved it as well Hey guys, quick check-in. So it is one o'clock and the, the egg casserole, when I first took it out of the oven, like I let it set for 10 minutes and then I cut into it. And when I cut into it, the eggs were still not cooked in the middle. So I put it back in the oven. And while it was in the oven, I um, did a, my plan with me. I filmed my plan with me. I haven't edited it yet and put it and uploaded it, but here it is. I really, really liked the way it turned out this week. don't know if you saw last week's but I was not happy with last week's but this one I think is super cute it has scarecrows and pumpkins and even though I used full boxes this week last week the full boxes were just too busy for me and I just didn't like it so much but this one I'm happy with I also cleaned all the floors here I'm yeah, the floors here on the first floor. So that's my entryway to my house, my laundry room, and my office. And I got this new carpet set up in the entryway. Let me show you. It was an early Christmas gift from my mom. So let me, let me show it to you. It's really cute. Here it is. It is so cute. You can see the bicycle. <laughs> I love those kind of bikes. I have a bike like that, but mine's, mine's uh, silver and pink, but yeah. And then this middle section can come out and be replaced. So she did get me some replacements. So let's go take a look at those. So here are the replacements she got me. So this is for winter. The one that I showed you, that was the fall one. This is the summer one, which totally reminds me of Ludington. And here is the spring one. I love this. So here's my bike again. So like I said, my bike is uh, silver and pink, but if I could have picked like any color I wanted, I would have picked this color. It's my favorite color. Oh, it's gonna be a fun one to put out. So I've gotta figure out where to store these during the year when I'm not using them. And they look so like delicate, but I read the directions and it's, they sound pretty sturdy and like they're gonna be pretty easy to clean. So what a fun gift. Okay guys, so I, I should have showed you how I cut the, the casserole, but I cut it into eight pieces. 
So I have one for every day of the week plus one for, for right now, for my lunch right now. Let's take the first bite. I'm so excited, it smells really good. I think it's the um, maple sausage that I'm smelling, but it smells really good. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, I think the maple sausage really adds a lot to this. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll check in with you later. Okay, taking a break from work to, to decorate my house for Halloween. I was actually gonna skip decorating for Halloween this year just because I've been so busy. But, you know, like on October 2nd, Logan was like, aren't you going to decorate the house for Halloween? <laughs> so I thought, okay, so he still wants the house decorated for Halloween. Um, I mean, I decorate for Christmas and I love it for Christmas, but he also loves uh, Halloween. So we decorate the house really for Logan and he still wants me to do it this year. So I'm doing it this year. Um, he did come out and help unfortunately he put the hands backwards so I had to fix all the hands but he did come help out and help which was really sweet of him so um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like at night as well we'll do that a little bit later hi guys okay so my video is, da is done uploading to YouTube it's going to be unlisted until the morning I try to get videos in the night before and then and then um, make them public in the morning before I go to work and Logan and I decorated the house for Halloween. I was just going to skip it this year, um, but Logan <laughs> requested that we decorate for Halloween and I thought, okay, as long as he still wants to decorate for Halloween, I will, we will do it <laughs> as long as he wants. So we decorated for Halloween. I'll take you back outside and show you what it looks like when it's completely dark. I know it looks dark outside, but it's still, the sun's still setting, so it's not quite dark enough yet. Um, so I'll take you back out and show you that in a minute. I have, it's 7 p.m. and I'd like to go to bed at 8 p.m. tonight. Um, that way I have about an hour to read before I fall asleep. I'm starting a new book, which I'm, which I'm super excited about. I believe it's called Lady Tam's Circle of Women. It was highly recommended to me from my friend Beth, and so I'm excited to read it. And um, yeah, I wanna get that started tonight. So in the next hour that I still have in my awake time, I am going to work on the next Budget Mom, Budget by Paycheck workbook. Um, December pack, so it'd be December 324. I found a purple pattern. I had a red and another red and green one picked out, which was beautiful and I loved it, but I've already done two patterns that have red and green in it, so I thought I needed to do a different color. So I have a purple Christmas pattern. I don't know how I feel about it yet at this point, so let's. Oh, there was a mosquito. Did you see it like fly across the screen? <laughs> oh, I'll have to try and get that before I go to bed. Okay, anywho. Um, let's, let's design it. Then I'll see how I feel after I play with it and work with it and see if I like it. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. One hour, see if I can get the whole thing done. So what I'm doing here, you guys, this is a little bit strange, but I'm trying to change the color of the days of the week. I'm using the same, this kit has two colors. It has this deep purple and it has white and that's it. So I was using the deep purple and I was trying this trick that I've done um, with colors like this in the past is where I use the exact same color, the deep purple, but I lighten it. And I was trying to give some contrast between the header and the days of the week because it just felt, I don't know, I just felt like it looked better if I could do that, but I really struggled to accomplish that goal and I do end up leaving it all the same color, that deep purple. But that's what all of this part here is. <laughs>
it is 7.57 and I just finished the designs. <laughs> so let's go take a look at the Halloween lights. Okay friends, that's it for this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you again next time. Bye everyone. Stickers placed. Stickers placed.